Hello, Kenny Evans here. Another car video. Topic of this video is can you tell if someone is a virgin just by looking at them? But before I get into this topic, I just want to let y'all know. First, thank y'all for being here. And uh, this channel is all about helping both men and women be the best versions of themselves in all aspects of their lives, health, wealth, dating, relationships, and mindsets. And I want you guys to do so, so you can help uh, other people in your lives by uh, your actions, by your inspiration, and by default, helping the world be a better place. So thank y'all for being here. I really do appreciate it. So for those of you who are new, welcome. For those of you who have been here for a while, welcome. If you have not done so already, definitely subscribe. Hit the subscribe button. And then hit that notification button so you will be notified for whenever I upload some new videos. And thank you with that as well. So let's get back to the topic at hand. Can you tell if someone is a virgin just by looking at them? So with this, it's a very extensive topic. Um, a lot of people are all about being able to tell if someone's a virgin, women, men, or if they're a slut or very sexually active. Um, and really, you know, there's a, a lot of reason for it. You don't want to, as a man, for men who, who care about the body count, you don't want to get with a woman who might be having too high of a body count. For women, you you want to get with a man who's a little experienced. You don't want to necessarily have to be with a man who you have to teach everything and who is not really good with women. Um, so there's a lot of reasons for all this. And of course, I'm going to give you my four ways you can tell or not tell if a person is a virgin or not. And of course, the bonus at the end. So definitely you want to stay at the end, stay till the end so you can get that bonus so let us get this rolling first way you can tell whether somebody is a virgin or, or not is by understanding that people can hide who they are people can hide who they are so in reality if somebody may act like they're so flirty and they it's all over the place and they are just talking to all these women or men and just all over and you just assuming that they just getting it in left, right, and center. But in reality, behind closed doors, they like the attention. They like the flirting, but they're not comfortable enough to make it go any further. You know what I mean? They're not comfortable enough to make it go any further. So with that, then they kind of back off and, you know, things don't ever really uh, develop because they don't really make any moves to make it go any further because they just wanted the attention, you know, or they just not comfortable doing it anyway because they're shy. So they don't have sex, you know, because they're not uh, confident or comfortable enough to make it happen. So. That is the first way you can tell if somebody is or is not a virgin. Second, sex is an act and it can be hidden. Again, if somebody is like, hey, you know, they acting so flirty or even if they're having a lot of sex. Like they could be having a whole bunch of sex, but out in the open, they may be dressed in a like a Muslim woman, you know, had the shawl, I was just covered up, you know, not seeing anything. But again, behind closed doors, they're having sex, like flipping rabbits. You know what I mean? With people who they know, people who they see. But when they go out, you can never tell. You know, so that is very important to understand. Like, just because somebody may uh, dress a certain way outside, whether they're dressing sexual or not, it really doesn't mean they are having a, a lot of sex or even any sex. Or it doesn't mean they're not having sex. So you should never really judge somebody by their cover. Because you could be wrong 
and more than likely you will be wrong. I want to say nine, maybe nine times out of ten, eight times out of ten. Third way, be able to tell. People could act however they want. It just doesn't mean that they are or are not having sex. Again, this kind of goes back to the first one. You know, um, just because somebody acts flirty, just because somebody is more uh, shy or reserved, just because somebody's constantly looking around, you know, or even somebody's not looking, you just really never know if somebody is really having sex or not. Um, and it is really important to understand that you should not be judging people uh, on that because you never know you interact with that person, they might surprise you. You know what I mean? And you might want to jump their bones because of how they were acting towards you. And if you made it this far into the video, I would ask humbly and politely that you subscribe and of course hit that notification button so you'll be uploaded or you will know when I upload some new videos and you will be uploaded <laughs> with your notifications and know when I have uploaded some new videos. <sighs> so, fourth way you can tell whether someone is or not a virgin is by understanding that harnessing sexual energy is a key factor when it comes to having and really getting sex because people who are virgins they are not as um, comfortable with that energy people who have a lot of sex they are comfortable with that sexual energy so they're able to tap into that very easily and express it very easily and women or men are both easily very receptive because they're more natural with it they're more comfortable with it you know they don't feel they need to force anything or do anything out of the normal so that is key understanding that harnessing people who you see who are actually more it's not the flirty it's not the flirty but the energy you feel it you see it you know even though that is not all because again, somebody could give off that energy but still be very shy when it comes to actually closing the deal. You know, but having that energy is a very important factor when it comes to uh, getting sex. Of course, we have the fifth and final reason, which is the bonus. The bonus! Which is quality game is a key factor. And the most important factor when it comes to getting sex. If you are able to, uh, I don't even say talk, but get people to do what you want or get people to have sex with you when you want them to have sex with you, that is game. Game is just a strategy, a strategy to help you get what you want. So if you have a good strategy to get people to have sex with you, that is the key. And you can kind of tell, we can kind of tell people who have game and who don't have game. You know what I mean? You can kind of tell, you know, but, you know, even then, that is not everything. It's just the most important thing. You know what I mean? Because, again, somebody could have good game and maybe they, they fumble or maybe they, you know, they go through a drought. Maybe they're going through a rotation that uh, decided to let them go for whatever reason. They didn't, they hadn't been able to manage, you know what I mean? So all that is important to understand, you know, game is important, but it is not everything. And in the end, you cannot, I repeat, you cannot tell if someone is a virgin just by looking at them. You cannot, you cannot. It is not possible there's too many different factors that will go on go along um that that, that that you must keep in mind so men if you see women dressed up who you think might be having sex left right and center and you'll be wearing high crop top short skirt and whatever showing off her midriff and i get it you could have factors that may assume 
They may be having a lot of sex, but you really never know. You really never know. And even women, you see a guy dressed a certain way, you think he, or act a certain way, you just really never know until you interact with that person. And you get to tell the quality of the game they have. Ooh, excuse me. But yes, I appreciate y'all sticking around to the end of the video. I thank you. I appreciate you. Y'all are awesome. Of course, let me know what you thought about my list, whether you liked it or disliked it. Let me know if you hit, you think I hit everything or I missed something. Let me know. Let me know. Respectfully, of course. And of course, um, let me know what other topics you want me to talk about. And um, if you found value in this video, definitely donate. Donations will help me uh, continue to do these videos because obviously I got a lot going on. And the donations mean that you like the videos on a higher level than just doing a thumbs up. So I definitely appreciate those donations indeed. Of course, um, I will see y'all next week. Y'all stay safe. Always remember the strongest person is the happiest person.